Hello, it's Sparks there, and welcome back to Paper Mario. So, last time we defeated the Hops and Puffs, and now we're back here, which means we need to get our fortune told, because otherwise I will have no idea where we need to go. And I realized that when I was going through walkthroughs, that that's what they've been doing this whole time. During battle, let's you use two items during one turn. Well, these are really good badges. If the action command works, attack power plus one. If it's not, it's zero. If the action command works, attack power plus one. If not, it's zero. Okay. Severely damages all enemies in the ground. I feel like this one, the all or nothing, would be more useful. But I don't have any coins. But we can sell our items, can't we? I'm pretty sure we're able to. And I believe there's actually a shop over here, just hopefully it does not change its, uh, tune. Because that power, that badge sounds really useful. Okay. Welcome to the Shroom Grocery. How can I help you today? I would like to sell. I would like to sell... So let's just sell a bunch of these herbs. Because they... give us nothing in return. And then we'll sell... Can we just sell the Super Shroom? Yeah, let's just sell the Super Shroom. They'll put us at exactly 100 coins. Which is just barely enough to buy it. Now, I'm gonna make sure that the description I read makes sense to me before I buy it. Otherwise, we might get gypped on what the bad we need. Okay. So, I need you right here. So, let's see. So, this one really damages all enemies on ground or soon. If the action command works, attack power plus one, if not, is zero. During battle, let's use two items during one turn. I feel like all or nothing. If the action command works, attack power plus one, if not, it's zero. Yeah, that's the one we're gonna get. I knew, Mario, I knew you had a key knife for badges. That's a good one. You need a hundred coins for that, all or nothing. The badge power you need in order to use this badge is more. Would you like to buy it? Thanks. I changed my stock of badges now and then, so please check back occasionally. Okay, we don't have enough to afford another badge. Let's see, how many badges do we actually have? Okay, so what do we need to get rid of? Mega Smash. Let's see, two Mega Smash, Quick Change. We definitely need Quick Change. HP plus Flower Saver. During battle, save one firepower each time you attack. That's really good. Defend plus. Decreases the damage that Mario takes by one. That's pretty good, but honestly, of all the stuff we have right now, I feel like this is better. Then we have two badge points to do to a jump attack. Cause we need more jump attacks, that's for sure. Let's see, what ones do we have? Dizzy Stomp, Sleep Stomp, Shrink Stomp. I feel like Dizzy Stomp would be good. Yeah, that way we have another jump attack. Oh, these are our both ones. So then we'll do Dizzy Stomp and Sleep or Shrink. Well, Shrink reduces damage. Sleep just incapacitates the enemy. So we'll do that instead. Then we'll save the game. Not through there, obviously, through here. Now let's see what, our, let's get our fortune told so we can figure out what the next area is. And we'll finally reach chapter seven. Save completed. Hooray! No, I do not want to talk to you, Toad. You're a bad Toad. Who are you? Oh, it's you. You came at such a good time. There's a guest waiting for you. No, a guest? I'm gonna say guest. Nice to meet you. I come from Starborn Valley. Starborn Valley is in the Shiver region, a chill place far to the north at the very end of the earth. Meryl hails from you said that he had something important to tell you, Mario. Maryland Starboard Valley is my son, Mario. It seems he's calling for you. If he's searching for you, you could be sure something important is afoot. Let's go to Starboard Valley. Do not delay. Yes, please hurry. I'll run ahead and take tidings of you to Maryland. I think somewhere deep in the Town is a pipe connected to Shiver City. Starboard Valley is located quite near Sh Shiver City. Mario, hurry to meet my son. He waits in Starboard Valley. Okay, so we have to go to the sewers. Interesting. I don't think there's ever been a chapter where we need 
required to go to the sewers. Which, where was it again? I believe that the sewers were over here, right? Yeah, where the shop, the bad shop is. But it's not there because it said it's pipes. There was that blue door that we saw the last time we explored the sewers. Do you think we could somehow get in it now? That'd be good. I believe it was in this direction, honestly. Let's keep on going. Oh no. Honestly, I feel like we should just avoid all the enemies because they're too powerful down here. Is it this direction or am I thinking of something else? At least the giant blooper is gone. Nope, not down here. I know it's gonna loop somewhere. Okay, so let's just watch out for that Goomba. Blue Goomba, or whatever it's called. I don't remember. So let's see. So we can go down. I feel like we need the raft to cross to get there. So let's go ahead and switch our companion to sushi. There we go. And you can go right here. We'll swim across. I recognize this blue pipe. Where does this blue pipe lead again? I think it leads to the forest. Yeah. That is not the correct way to go. But it's nice to see the Yoshi again. And then through here... Oh, we can go across these spikes using our companion. I remember that, the keyster. So let's activate you to go across these spikes. Which leads to this pipe. Now where does this pipe lead to? Um, down here. Oh, wasn't this area where it was a dead end? But what's over here? Okay, I guess the game will not let us directly jump down. We have to travel in a somewhat linear fashion. Whoa! No. 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 No, I do not want to battle right now. There's some blocks here. Aha! I think I recognize this area. I think this is the area with the door, is it not? Unless my memory is serving me wrong. There it is. Wow, we could just enter in for free. Nice. Here we go. Oh, it's looking very frosty all of a sudden. We must be in the correct area. Ooh, an upgrade. With this, you can upgrade one of your party members. Which party member do you want to upgrade? I really think Bo deserves an upgrade, honestly. We use him so much. Do you want to upgrade this member? Yes. I would love to upgrade this member. Nice. Bo's upgraded to Ultra Rank. Cool. Now, we don't want to go through that pipe because it's where we came from. But this pipe looks very frozen. We did it! We reached Chapter 7, A Star Spirit on Ice. Nice. Okay, so there's a shop, and there's a bunch of penguins to talk to. Awesome. So let's save before we do anything, and then let's also save there before anything bad happens. Ignore the dates. Animal Crossing must change the dates to summer. Well, early summer. Anyways, there we go. Yeah, hello. This is the Northern Morseburg, Shiver City. You've come from Tertown. Very, very far away, yeah. Welcome to Shiver City. Oh, what a warm welcome. I wonder what they have in the shop. I know we can't afford anything. See Dizzy Dial, Shooting Star. Shooting Star that hit all enemies. Snowman Doll, Maple Syrup, Life Room, and Super Room. Cool. Nothing too much of use. Starborn Valley. Oh, sure. Go east from this city. But you have to be careful. I have it on good faith that there's lots of scary monsters between here and there. The thought makes me shiver. It seems like all I hear these days are frightening rumors. What shiver setting coming to? Okay, so we need to head east. I will listen to the penguin. Oh god, east is not that way. That was west. Salute me. Let's talk to you. I saw this really bizarre guy around here the other day. He was shooting like. Oh, or it's freezing! And he was also going, No! Mario! Who was that nut? I wonder, who was that nut? Okay, what about you? I'm the city guard around here. I'm investigating a report of a suspicious character wandering around the city. You! You're not him, are you? I don't think so. When you hear about Shipper City, ice skating is the first thing that comes to mind. Well, skiing's nice too, but not when a monster's loose. 
It's scary out there in the snow. City's getting really you, girl. Yeah, yeah. What about you? I love sliding on the ice. Wish. So much fun. How about you? Wanna join me? Can I slide on the ice? Sort of. There's a key in there. There's a key in the ice. Can I have this? I really love sliding around in the snow. Pinky pangy pangy pong. Snow is falling all day long. Skate or spin or sing a song. Wahoo! Hey, do we say? Boy, what's yay? Oh, I think it'd be better practice. I'd better practice. Okay, so there's a key to that shop or that door right there. And it's frozen. Interesting. What about some here? What do we get in here? Uh, there's nothing here. Can I slam something? Maybe? Any hidden things right here? Nope. Nothing. Nothing at all. Interesting. I'm not talking to you. We're not getting fooled again. This building's a warehouse. Nobody could get in because our careless guard managed to leave the key to the door. Actually, I'm the one who lost it. I had it just a little while ago. Well, I know where the key is, but how are we supposed to get it? Can we ground pound the ice and break it, maybe? How do we ground pound again? Oh, we can. What are you doing? Stop that. Have you lost your wits? What if the ice breaks? I will not stop. No, are you a complete idiot? I told you not to do that. That's really dangerous. No, don't drive me away. Don't you ever listen to your public music? Take a hike. Uh-oh. We got kicked out. No, I wanted to solve the puzzle. Are we gonna get kicked out multiple times? Oh, it restored, didn't it? Hmm. There's probably more to that puzzle. Let's see what you have to say. We're on alert because a stranger appeared in the city, so I can't let you pass without permission for the mayor. Okay. I heard that a horrible monster lives at the end of this path. Everyone is so scared of it that they don't live the city. Why can't we have peace? I wish there were no monsters. Me too. So what are we supposed to do then? We can't ground pound. Oh, there's another area we can go in this alleyway if we go past you. Can we climb this tree? Can we slam this? Nope. That didn't help one bit. Interesting. Okay, so let's just do a tree. Nope, destroying the tree did not help either. Oh, but there's still tons of stuff we haven't explored over here yet. What about you? What do you say? Fairborn Valley? No, wait, that's east. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Let's try going west instead. We can go into this building. It's unmarked. Oh, what do you have to say? Fairborn Valley and Fairborn Mountain are both near here. But you better dress warmly if you plan on reaching them. Okay, so we need to dress warmly. We climb on top of the furniture, but that doesn't really help us now, does it? Let's see what this penguin has to say. This city is becoming pretty dangerous lately. I saw this cold suspicious stranger wander around just a short time ago. He seemed to be searching for someone. I don't like how this looks. I don't like his looks. I wonder where he got off to. Okay, so there's more of the town over here. Pengy, pengy, pengy pop. Feel the rhythm stop and bop. Do the pengy, pengy, pengy hop. All the snowmen in line, a bucket hat fits super fine. Eyes and noses looking cool. Being a scarf, you panky fool. I have no idea what the melody of that would be, so I didn't think it. Anyone for shave ice treat? Strawberry flavor, maybe watermelon? Or my personal favorite, tangerine tangerine. Ho ho ho, I love frozen treats. So maybe if we get him a frozen treat, he will help us. So tangerine tangerine is what we need to get. So what do you have to say? People who travel here from other towns must think that this city is freezing cold. I'm used to it. I heard though that somewhere in the world is a hot town covered in sand. Now that would be intolerable. I don't believe it even exists. I've been there and it was intolerable. A really shady individual came to the city recently. He was screaming at the top of his lungs and running around. It was really odd. I think something strange is going on in our peaceful city. Okay, so we need to find that stranger. That's for sure. Are you the stranger? No, you look like a baker. Oh, we have a guest. Welcome, you poor man. You must be freezing. If you'd like to see my husband, he's in the other room. Please go right in. Okay. Thank you. For letting me in. Oh, no. Has he been murdered? No reply. Bear Penguin's body doesn't budge an inch. What's this? He has a memo in his hand that says Herringway. Darling, would you like a cup of tea? 
Da, 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 da. Hmm. Oh dear, you know you catch a cold if you sleep there. I don't think they're asleep. Uh oh. No! This is not good at all. Help somebody, help anybody. My husband is dead. He's been murdered. It's a penguin murder mystery. Oh, so this is a murder mystery now. Cool. What's going on here, madam? Just calm down now. You need to speak slowly so I can get to the bottom of this. That's uh, you. My husband is dead. Look at him lying there. Oh, my darling husband, somebody cooked his clippers. Oh no. This is not good. Bye, Puffin. You're right. The mayor has been murdered. This is like a mystery novel. Except it's real. How tragic. But madam, if I may ask you, who on earth would have a reason to put this penguin on ice? Hmm, right there. The man with the suspicious mustache. I told him not to come in the house, but he barged right in. My husband was alive right up until this man showed up. He must be the murderer. Hey, you mustache, are you listening? The good woman's accusing you. What do you have to say for yourself? Don't you try to play ignorant with me, buddy. I'm a professional. You got a witness here. Isn't that right, madam? Yes, that's right. He did it in cold blood, and I saw it with my two eyes. Besides, he's the only one who came into this room. It all adds up. Sure, you're sticking to your story, claiming you're not the culprit. I'll pretend the whole time I swear on my own grave, Mario's innocent. Hmm, if you're telling the truth, then we're dealing with a backroom murder case. Oh, I never trained for this. Backroom murder case, a high-ranking penguin slain. How could such a horrible plot twist a hit a power a peaceful city? You, Mr. Mustache. What's more for the record, you swear you didn't do this. Okay, I think I believe you, but this means we have to find the true murderer. Ah, perfect. I'll give you a chance. Since you claim that you're not a guilty party, then you must bring me the murderer yourself. If you do that, I'll believe you. It's the only way. Alright, off with you. You haven't proved that you're innocent yet, so I must forbid you to live this city. Oh, great. Okay, is this a present? Can I have it? No, I can't have the present. Aw, that's sad. Let's do no replying yet. I know. Anyways, oh wait, should we talk to them? Maybe she's the murderer. Who knows? You killed them, didn't you? I knew my instincts were right. When I saw a stranger like you out here in such a remote place, I think you must have been up to no good. Oh, the horror. My poor, poor penguin kin. Please forgive me for letting this murderer in the house. Okay. So there was a murder. Oh, this looks like the outside has changed now. The music changed too. Huh, I'm not going to help you. I don't have such lives of murder. Get away from me. But I'm not the murderer. Let's see what they say. Mayor Penguin was murdered in his back room, and no one has the slightest idea of who did it. Oh, it can't be. It's like we're in one of Harry Wynn's mystery novels. How could such a terrible thing happen in such a small, peaceful city? Who could do such a thing? The mayor's wife said the man with the mustache did it, and he seemed to be such a gentleman, too. Since I guess you shouldn't trust anyone who carries such a huge hammer. Brr, how terrifying. It just goes to show that you should never trust your first impression of people. Okay, so you are not gonna help me. Herringway? Why, he's a mystery monopolist. He lives in this city. You suspect Herringway? Nah, it couldn't be him. He and the mayor are friends. Hmm, it's always the people closest to you, Mr. Penguin. Always the people closest to you. What about you? What do you have to say? You penguin killer! You just keep your distance. What's that gleam in your eye? No! Ah, I'm going to be a murder victim. Please, somebody help me. I'm not going to murder you. But it'd be funny if I slam my hammer down. Oh, they didn't, they didn't react. What do you have to say now? Herringway? Yes, of course I know him. Everyone in the city knows about him. He's a world famous mystery novelist. You think Herringway killed Mayor Penguin? Hmm, that sounds nuts, but you might be onto something. Herringway does know everything about crimes and criminals, and he seems to have mysteriously disappeared. This is a nice break of pace for the other in-town missions and the other chapters. Herringway? Yeah, sure, he lives right next to the lake. His house is always empty, though. Who knows where he is? What? Herringway might be a murderer? No. 
That can't be, he's a really good friend of theirs. You have no reason to off him, unless there is some super secret reason. Ever since I started reading Harry's missing marvels, I suspect unsuspected. Well, and said so this is Herringwind's house, I guess. I if we slam our hammer around, so we knock a book loose or something. Maybe there's a secret entrance or something. Nope, there isn't. Okay, got it. I love the music change. Aw, oh, you're blocking the way out. You better show me some evidence. You're not really the one who murdered Bear Penguin. So you do, I'm sorry, but I can't let you leave the city. I won't budge from the spot. Oh, no siri. I'm serious now. Okay, I get it. I get it. You won't leave. Good to know. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Hopefully we can solve this murder mystery.